Today my father and I are here discussing world peace and it's just really about how we as individuals and not just him and myself but it's really about you and you being at home with your friends and your family and how we all play an important role in what's happening right now in our society and our ability and our potential to rebuild humanity and what that looks like and what that sounds like. And that's why it's so important uh, for us to start having these conversations and to have continue to have these discussions on a more regular basis down into your children and carry that on. It's how we can really believe that it restores humanity by making us more open and calm and loving with one another. And so that's why we're here today and we're gonna, my father has an important message for everyone about his perspective and through his expertise and what he's dedicated his entire life to which is music art songs being a musician and a singer coming from a small town in south korea and he came to the united states in 1969 studied at juilliard since then he has this remarkable journey with art songs and how he has dedicated everything that he has to society to help restore that peace and that love that he really hopes for through music. Why Appa, and I'm gonna call him, refer to him as Appa, that means father in Korean. So Appa, why do you feel like having these discussions about world peace is so important right now? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we are facing very cool problems around the world today. The brutal killings all around the world increasing and the war is on. They kill innocent lives and children and also the human spirit, human law is withering away every day. So mm -hmm. we have to reconstruct the collapse of value and so why, that's why we are here. And uh, my point of view, human spirit is in a critical situation. And uh, the most powerful influence for human spirit is music. Among music, largest portion of music uh, songs share uh, the big portion. That's why we are here today. If we sing love songs like a lullaby for uh, ch children, songs my mother taught me, love for mother, and hide and reach line songs for nature. If we sing true love songs, we spread true love songs around the world, human spirit will be raised and raised and we could avoid the human tragedy. Also, we could make peaceful world we are standing today. Mm. Yeah, so lots of good points. World peace can happen in so many different ways, but we really believe that music holds such a powerful channel for us to restore that humanity. Um, and it really comes down to what music helps you feel, you know, when you listen to a song and you, and we're really sp specifically talking about art songs, right? You have a very close relationship with art songs. You're on this mission to really advocate for art songs and how it can really um, bring us back to you said human spirit, right? Yes. What is so? How did what is art songs? Let's you know. I just want to understand what is art songs first of all. Um, from what I understood, art songs is like a, it's a musical representation of a poem. It rose up in the 19th century and it's based on poems from German poets. And it, the, it talks about love, it talks about um, nature, and it grew popularity during the Romantic era, right? That's, that's how it grew to what it is today. So how did you come across art songs? What's your, how did you even come across what art songs is? Oh, the, that's a good question. When I came to Julia school in uh, 1970, at the age of 30, Two, that's the highest age in Julius history. I learned a lot about our song. When I studied in uh, South Korea, everybody else involved in opera, but Julius school is different. So 
Anybody who loves our song, they could go and sing. The our song class is always open. So, for example, Schubert, Brahms, Ore, this beautiful poems like Goethe, Schiller, Baudelaire. Well, what is it? Are those artists? Those are artists? Oh, the poem, poet. Po those are poets? Yes. Okay. It's a song means beautiful poems with a beautiful melody combined together. So we prepared for our several art songs today. But for example, Schubert is very intellectual. Schubert also, is that lullaby or is that Brahms? Oh, also she, Very famous uh, lullaby song. Also lullaby songs. He wrote lullaby. Also Brahms lullaby is very popular and uh, famous too. You know? mm -hmm. oh, he wrote many beautiful songs. He composed like uh, 600 songs. Also Gabriel Fauré, Johannes Brahms. All great composers wrote a lot of songs. And so when we could consider when I uh, studied at uh, Italy for study opera, opera workshop by uh, the famous singer Tito Gobi, the Italy is different. They don't care about our song. They don't sing, they don't have a stage, they only involved in opera. The people listen to only opera. So when I went to the three months time, two years, Italy is a beautiful country, but people are very emotional and impatient. And uh, why is that? Uh, I deeply uh, concerned with uh, the results of uh, this artistic uh, manner. I found the answer. The compared to neighboring countries like uh, Germany, France, on England, they have art songs. Art song has endurance, love, intelligence, patience, honesty, most ingredients, good ingredients for the human soul. But Italy doesn't have any art songs. It's miserable for artistic uh, culture. You, uh, oh, yeah. you, and then you mentioned you first studied art songs at Juilliard. Right. What was that experience like when you first heard it, what did you feel and what did you experience? What was your experience? Oh, that's a good question. When I said earlier, I studied three years in Korea, everybody else involved in opera, everybody... Yeah, that's what you were listening opera. to. You were just studying <laughs> opera. Right, right. And opera is just like very um, more technique driven. Right? Right, exciting. It's, it's, it's just about hitting the high notes, oh, right. belting. It's very technique driven. It's not so kind of like deep um sensual pleasure for mm. example sensual pleasure and i was used to like opera but when i came to julia i found an art song for the first time wow this is a really beautiful vocal artistry for the human soul yeah and as i said art songs contains intelligence honesty simplicity love yeah. When we all around the world, people love our songs more and more, mm -hmm. so love spread around the world. We could make peaceful world together. Uh, I'm very confident on this. That's why I came to uh, today discussion. I think, and then that was the moment where you had like a kind of like this awakening of this is what your mission is. This is what you want to do, and kind of the contribution you're going to give to humanity is art songs. That's right. Mm. So I found the ingredients of, of art songs. Oh, this is really I'm looking for uh, the artistry. And so we I established a New York Art Songs Association and I submitted uh, for application for New York State. They gave us permission to non-profit cultural organization we started since then, we have an organization every annually, uh, spring and fall, two seasons, only we sing our songs. And in plus 2000, we started to uh, benefit cancer for North Korean refugees. They are in very difficult situation because they are innocent people. And when they escaped from North Korea due to severe hunger in China, they kept, kept, they catch 
and sent back to North Korea, they killed them. The, about 300,000 refugees killed. It's very, very inhuman activity. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had been uh, last May, May 7, 2023, we had the uh, 41st Benefit Council for Refugees. We keep going and our concert always sing our songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like this would be a good time to play an art songs for so to help the audience understand what it sounds like mm -hmm. and how what the art songs actually makes you can makes you feel when you hear the music. So we're gonna play a sample for you, and it's uh, sung by an artist Ellie Omling called Wild Rose. And we would love for you to take this time to really listen to um, her voice and the melodies and see how it makes you feel, makes you feel in your body. To really understand the impact that art songs can have for the human spirit. We'll play the song. Mm -hmm. And then, um, meet together at every gathering. He's always like, oh, I want to play this song. So why do you love this song so much? Oh, first, her voice. The musical history they consider the most outstanding art song singers, the German baritone Fischer Discow and also this Elia Amling. And uh, first, her voice is lovely voice and also the intelligence and the simplicity. The yeah. honesty, most important ingredients for human spirit. When we hear the voice, we feel happiness. Mm -hmm. If everybody all around the world, people listen to those kind of music every day, people are happy, the, the whole world will be more peaceful, more lovable, mm -hmm. and we could change the whole world. I have a confidence. On that note, it's like when you're happy, when you're calm, you become more open. And when you become more open, you're more open to different beliefs, different people, right? Mm -hmm. If you're feeling angry and judgmental, you you become very narrow-minded. And if we're talking about world peace, in order for us to restore that humanity, we have to be become in a calmer state, in a state that's more receptive and open to you know, different people around us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, when I was listening to that song, I feel like there's a, there's a lot of artistry that goes into it because she's not just hitting on the high notes. It's like in order for you to capture that, captivate that emotion, you have to have some restraint. You know, when you're singing, right? When you, you have to like, in order for you to convey that emotion of the words, you have to feel it. And you're not just going loud and high. You're also, kind of um, soft, right? When you're singing, to be able to sing softly, there's a connection for you? No, no, not, not, not. not only that, the songs for nature, songs for the nature, the beauty of nature, wild rose. And when you repeatedly listen to those kind of music, our heart will be nourished natural way. That's our full of soil. Everybody can be different. Uh, more that education when we spread around the world, the whole world could be more happier, more peaceful world we could make. The simple answer. And there's a, so we, there's another uh, sample we want to play for you and that's my songs my mother taught me. Mm -hmm. Who Who's the artist? The John Sutherland, mm -hmm. uh, famous Australian singer. Okay. okay, so the lyrics to that song are songs my mother taught me in the days long vanished seldom from her eyelids were the teardrops banished now I teach my children each melodious measure off the tears are flowing off they flow from my memory's treasure it really just speaks on um, carrying the, the memory of mother, the childhood, and being able to share that. So it's a, you know, it's a very beautiful song. Um, is there any, like, what's your, what's your take on it? What, what yes, it, it is a beautiful song. And uh, the words are Czechoslovakia born composer, like a... That's the composer of this song. Yes. The, with the Sunetana, who they consider 
though the patriotic composers. Mm. The Bozak has always warm heart and his music has always warm heart with it. Again, when we listen to those songs of mother taught me, beautiful mother's love, mm, mother's love. Uh, arise in our heart. Mm -hmm. If the whole world listen to those songs every day, the whole world will be more happier, more, this world could be more peaceful world. Nurturing, comforting. Nurturing, comforting, and also worthwhile to live in this world and uh, love continuation of love mm. for this world could be guaranteed mm -hmm. uh, this this cultural aspect is very important instead of getting pleasure with the sensual music a lot of sensual music destroy our spirit a lot of people obsessed by sensual music today so we have make revolution for human spirit through beautiful songs. Mm. That's what we are here for today. Mm. More, yeah, balance. Balance, right. But Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah, my song, Where They Walk. Okay. I'll, I'll listen to. Uh -huh. Well, listen to his song, uh -huh. Where We Walk, well, who's the artist? Oh, when I made the debut in 1979, at least Holly Hall, Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. After that, I got a very good review from New York Times and Daily News. <laughs> so I would like to listen to that. Who's, so, the, who, who's the original composer or...? The Handel. Handel. Uh -huh. Where do you walk? Uh, where do you walk? Where do you walk? Always beautiful. Uh, what's, the song, what's, the, what's the song about? Cool Gaze Shell Fender Glade. Uh -huh. Cool Glaze? Fender Glade. Okay, what does that mean? Please you and wherever you go, please you. Uh -huh. We will please you. It's okay. When you walk, cool gay chair fan the glade. Sung and performed at weddings, at romantic events. Mm -hmm. um, and this just is a song that reminds you of how the things that you love in your life can bring so much beauty and vitality and nourishes you. Is there anything else that you want to add? That's right. Look, the that song, the care about people, you know, care about atmosphere, In care about nature. society, nature. Uh, that's a love song, true love song. Yes. Uh -huh. Um. Was there any? So, is there anything else that you want to share? Is there any additional messages that you have? So we briefly uh, talk about our songs, and. Uh, Today, the whole world our songs withering away every day because of popularity of opera. But opera is a, a splendid art form. But any songs, their master is word. The art songs... Master of what? Master of words. Word, words, words. Words, words, words. okay. Yeah. The art songs contains, I said earlier, love, intelligence, simplicity, Honesty. But most of opera, the people listen to, give attention to a brilliant voice. But the words consist of opera, most of words are vengeance, killing, jealous, and outrageous words. So opera killing, goes... Killing they, out of jealousy. Yes. The every opera goes, they listen. They like to listen to brilliant voice. Whatever the brilliant voice came from, they don't care. Brilliant voice itself, they enjoy. Even brutal killings. And as I said, I devoted my first time at uh, music. I devoted my life for opera for three years. Then after that, I found, I went to uh, Metropolitan numerous times, even twice three times a week when I came to 1969. First time I was excited. And then I found out that Tosca, the, the Tosca killed Scarpia with a knife. Who's Tosca? Uh, Tosca is a composed by Puccini. And then he fell down and to the ground. So brutal scene. Oh, this is one of his uh, uh, opera. opera plays. Yes. So people applaud for the brutal killings. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So regardless of the lyrics, they're really driven by 
the loud, the high pitch voice. That's right. And uh, people are brought toward the group. Also, I listened and I heard many times and through the times my doubt came up. People excited. For opera goals, the goal is excitement. Mm. To the brilliant boys, the weak boys, excited. But excitement is not cultural. Excitement itself is stirred human feeling. It Storing human feeling itself, not coming down, not, not nourishing human feeling, opposite. Excitement is itself, same time, the human spirit, calm spirit, destroyed. So there's nothing wrong with excitement, but if we're talking about working towards world peace, we want more calm, right? That's right. That's why yeah, I, I opposed to uh, first time I devoted to opera and I gave up opera and uh, 1986 uh, I wrote about true nature of opera around the world, 155 places mm -hmm. and uh, that time the, he's a very the eminent critic. He received honor for Criticism, Donald Hannah Hahn, he quoted my article on top. Opera as Godzilla, that means opera is a destructive, destroyable. Destructive. You know, destructive. And uh, a good sentence after, good, mm. you go there. Yeah. Well, and uh, mm -hmm. that article, that time, made a sensation. I received uh, phone calls from, uh, letters from. Uh, Prime Minister of Germany, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, and numerous letters from uh, people. They agreed my uh, uh, suggestion. Mm. And, uh, well, this was a really good discussion. <laughs> and I, I feel like the, the main purpose of this video was to advocate for art songs as this powerful channel to really start this journey of world peace and um this was a really great discussion i this was the main purpose that my father and i wanted to come here today and talk about this was to just start discussions about world peace and hope that we can on an individual level start talking about it too and we believe that art songs is such a powerful channel to restore humanity right Mm -hmm. um, was there anything else that you wanted to add? That's right. Well, Turkey, Turkey. As I said earlier, today we face the miserable happening, you know, brutal killings around the world every day, and we have to change this world. Yeah. We have to find out hope who controls this world to peaceful world. This is, look, looks like a small instant, but it is not. It's a very important reality and uh, love of art and love of people and we spread human spirit around the world. We make this miserable world to peaceful world if the people more and more love our songs and every day, everywhere, we could change this world, mm. I'm sure. Mm. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate um, you being here with us. And hope you can spread the. 말씀드리겠습니다. 예, 한국말을 하니까 더 편하고. 예. 사실 우리가 지금 살고 있는 이 세계가 나날이 험악해져가고 또 잔인 무도한 살인 행위가 세계 도처에서 나날이 증가하고 어, 무자비한 사회 범죄가 하늘을 치솟고 있는 것이 우리가 살고 있는 오늘의. 희... 현실입니다. 이와 같은 것은 법으로 어민이 엄격히 다스린다고 해결되는 게 아니고 경찰력을 늘린다고 해서 되는 게 아니기 때문에 우리 정신 세계, 정신 문화를 잘 다스리는 일이 무엇보다 중요하고 이 일을 우리 모두가 잘 깨달으면 세계 평화를 이루고 이웃 사랑을 이루고 사는 가장 중대한 문화 역사를 이룰 수가 있다고 저는. 확신하기 때문에 오늘 이 자리에 섰습니다. 제가 자장가를 부르면 어린이 사람, 어머니의 마음을 부르면 어머니의 사람, 또 선구자를 부르면 나라 사람. 이 가곡은 사랑의 진정한 사랑의 노래입니다. 이러한 사랑의 노래를 온 세상에 널리 보급하고 
부를 수 있는 토대를 마련하고 더 확산시킬 때 세계가 더 평화로워지고 범죄가 줄어들고 세계 평화를 이루는 지름길이 될 거라는 것을 우리가 마음속으로 즉시 확신하게 됩니다. 이와 같은 사실을 여러분과 함께 나누고 모두 이 아름다운 가곡 부르는 운동에 동참하기를 바라는 마음에서 오늘 이 자리를 마련했습니다. 감사합니다.